for a lunch before city tour. It's supposed to be 9 o'clock in the morning after breakfast. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, right after the monument, now we are passing by uh, what you call Lake Garden. Okay, sir. We are going to give you a repair work here. And uh, what we are going to pass by here is a police museum. We are going to pass by here, police museum. Okay, and some butterfly parts and birds parts. Okay. Okay, this park was once built by the British, okay, because they are very poor with, with, with having exercise and, uh, you know, uh, and evening activities. And it is still being carried out here, okay, especially for the city folks, right, they come down here in the evening after their office work, because this place is not far from the office, right, they hang out here for their jogging activities, exercise, evening activities, even on the weekends, right, there are companies organizing family days here, okay. It is a very nice place and uh, it has a uh, beautiful landscape, greenery, okay? And it, it, is, it is a government's uh, policy that we maintain whatever greenery within the town or anywhere else. Even if we want to develop a piece of land, not every plant that we, we are allowed to move, remove, okay? Even the old plants, old trees that, that come across, we come across within the land, we have to try one way or another, replant it somewhere else rather than removing it or otherwise try to maintain it there. Okay. They, have, uh, they are putting a lot of uh, initiative in there. Okay. That is why you find a lot of greenery and, and there are many places with no greenery within the town vicinity. Many places. And here we have you know, and some even uh, say this is this is something different from other countries that we have come across. So, and uh, along this place also we have uh, what you call uh, an old house of uh, our first Prime Minister, okay, Tonka Rahman. His first house is here, that's where he stayed. And uh, that house, that property is changed into his own personal museum now. Personal museum housing his own personal uh, thing, belongings. Okay, sir. Okay. And after that, we also have a, a science center to educate the visitors about the uh, what you call astronomy, astron uh, astronomy science and, uh, you know, out of space uh, information like stars and ozones and things like that. Okay, this is the property that I was talking about. decided to have, have a, what you call administration office administration office to monitor their, their mining activities okay so the, these two groups are called Gihe and Gihan group always get in trouble and the British decided to have their, their office okay this is the mosque right so on your left and the right here 
you come across an old railway station here. Okay, this station now is uh, still exists, but it is not a railway station anymore. It is an old, uh, it is a bus station. Okay, those who are who are visit, going to going to visit Thailand and, and other countries, the bus will go from here. And there is a there is a uh, what you call a budget hotel as well. It also houses a budget hotel here. It is no longer used as a railway station because it is located within the town. Right, sir? Okay. Back to the Independence Square. Right? Independence Square, that is how they had it. Because, and then another thing is when they have a, what you call administration office, they are also very prone to have the sports activities. Right? Sports activities. The most favorite is their cricket game. So they had, they had a cricket game as well. They had the build a fleet to have the cricket game. Okay, that is the independent square is all about. Right, sir? And it was also used to dry money once. The field they used to dry money. When Malaysia KL was flooded. Okay. Our national bank was flooded. <laughs> and they used the field to dry the money. Let's imagine how much money would be on the field. <laughs> And then, uh, and now it is still being maintained the same place, same structure, uh, surrounding area. Okay, we're going to have a Slanga Royal, uh, Royal Club, which uh, which was happened to be uh, Spotted Dog Club in those days. Spotted Dog Clubs. Why they call it Spotted Dog Clubs? Because the the ladies, right? The ladies they like to have pets, especially for the donations. Those are Spotted Dogs. They tie the dogs along the fence and they go and have a tea in the clubhouse. And the clubhouse is only made for them, only for the British, not for other races. Restricted. Even the ladies, they have to have a seat outside, not inside the club, only the outside. Only the gentlemen will be inside the club. Right? And later, the first Asian to visit uh, the club was Mr. Tabu Sami Pele, Indian, and later followed by uh, our, our first Prime Minister, Tongkok Brahman. And now it is still being maintained, maintained the same place, and it, they even uh, have uh, what they call a membership fee for the club, which will cost about twelve thousand ringgit a year. Membership fee to become a member of the club, twelve thousand ringgit. Okay, opposite the field per year, per year, twelve thousand. Okay, and uh, something unique about the field is underneath the field there is another floor. It is not just a flat field. Underneath the field, there is another floor where used to be the store for the British to keep their armories, their weapons, right, their goods. And now it is being uh, used as a mall and is undergoing a renovation now. Okay. Maybe after three or four years later, if you visit again, we get an opportunity to visit the mall again. Right. Okay. And uh, over here on the right, you can see a uh, uh, Building. Okay, sir. Okay, this is an old building which was constructed back then. Okay, it was twice built in woods, and then later the third time it was built with the, uh, bricks and concretes. Okay, this is called the Abu Samad building. Okay, Abu Samad building. There was once used to be uh, administration office and a high court. Okay, and a labor court. All right, and, it's, and now it's being used as a labor court and a cultural center. Alright. So it's too bad now it's raining. Okay, we can stop for photos. Yes, sir. <coughs> the flag. It's the longest pole that we have sir, in the overall world. It's about 100 meters. Right. It holds a Guinness record as well. And that that pole itself originally was not at that size. It was rebuilt. And uh, that was the same place where the Union Jack flag was lowered and our Malaysian flag was raised. Right. And this is the